Okay, folks, this is a very boring, mundane piece, but it's got potential. Let's see if we can make it look into something look really nice and creative. Instead of its usual mundane, mundane take it for granted sort of thing. Don't want that silly. I don't want that. This user interface can drive me up the wall, as you can see. It's really difficult. Oh, I know what I forgot. Negative positive. Okay, let's see what this piece of mundaneness is. It is a paper bag, a scrunched up paper bag that we're going to utilise as a demo piece. It's going to be about the size of a, a fucking A6. Just going to crush it. Yeah, that looks really quite interesting. Uh, looks a bit blue on its own. Like, I do think maybe we could enlarge it maybe a bit vertically and horizontal. I don't know um, how I'm going to make this work. Oh, we weren't meant to have photo, we were meant to have dot matrix. That's why it looks so fucking boring. Dot matrix was the one I was intending on. I've been really hitting the wrong buttons. This user interface can be a pain. Yeah, that looks a lot better. You've got a nice bit of colour there. Maybe a little bit less on the horizontal and a bit more less on the vertical, or a bit more on the vertical. Yeah, that looks better. Oh, it looks a bit shitty, so I made it too short. And that was just right. Right smack bang on the edge. And the vertical looks pretty well good. So I'm going to go back to this uh, because of that. Uh, I think that was 170, if I remember correctly. Going to do something. Uh, I 
Okay, we're going to put the black in now that we've got the right setting. Actually, we're just going to pull it up. I do think this is a bit boring just on its own. I think a background colour might make it look more interesting. Yeah, that's come up looking interesting. It looks a bit dirty with that dot matrix. I don't like it, actually. I do think maybe without the black would look even nicer. Uh, Looks better without the black. Yeah, that looks more nicer, more interesting. It's not the greatest colour scheme that I would like. Uh, but it should look good. I think we're going to pull it up. I do think we're going to do something more interesting than just this. I do think this could be made into a master copy and we can make this a negative image negative nelly my dad calls me negative nelly he's an idiot enough about my dad he pisses me off I'm not a nice person he's the one if there's anyone that's introduced negativity into my life that would have been my father the dickhead he calls he tells me always tells me i'm negative he's a fucking idiot he started it bitch and he had the hide to lock me out of his house, to throw me out, because he kept pissing me off and making me erupt into a rage. He's a fucking idiot. He likes to stir and all that. He's a dick. I don't like my father. But enough about him. He's going to get his just. I'm sure karma will catch up with him. But hopefully... He'll be proven wrong when I go to air on the 6 o'clock news. And he'll have to eat all the words that he gave me. Eat all his words. And that's come up looking really quite interesting. The yellow uh, looks a bit flat. Uh, looks a bit flat. I might, might add some black. I might add black to this mix. But I really miss my partner Luigi and I really need to get in touch with him. We're going to leave it out. I do think maybe there could be a way of making this look better. And this user interface just let me down and just bounced around. This user interface, this is the work of the company that built this photocopier, uh, Konka Minolta, and they just don't know how to build really good kit they really build shit they fucking shit they do they build rubbish they don't have any idea how to make anything work they're just idiots Konica and Alta just they care about money money and that's it not about usability not about customer experience it's all about 
making a quick dollar off shit shit product. Now that looks shit house, I do think. Uh, maybe we can enlarge a bit off the edge because that looks a bit flat and we just want the nice crumpled areas. So I think we've got it in the right position. We just have to maybe enlarge it. Yeah, that looks interesting, but it's blown off the edge there. Um, it looks shit house, folks. Looks too. Yeah, I don't have it in exactly the right uh, position, so I do have to maybe make some adjustments. I don't like the way this is. I do think maybe. Somewhere in the corner where we've got it. Looks, should look good. Yeah, that looks shit house. Uh, I do think... I do think... I don't know what to do with it, folks. I don't want to make a meal of this. I don't want to make a meal of this one. I don't feel like going into all this fart assing around. I'm just going to go back to the way it was. And I'm just going to print it as it was. It should look good. Good enough. Oh, hopefully not good enough, as in shit house. Uh, but I've got a feeling I might be getting a bit too much into the elaboration of things. But there's a funny th paradox that goes on in an artist, is that artists still have to contend with the human in them. The human nature of wanting to do things quickly and finish it off haphazardly. And that typically operates in me as an artist and it's competing against the artist and it's a real pain in the ass because when I do a demo based on what my human side has stipulated I get really angry but when I've done something and I've put the artist first I then am really happy when I see a really 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 good result uh, so really it's 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 a real tug of war between artist and human the two have to exist but they don't like each other so yeah I do think this one may look better than I thought um, but it's hard to know when it's the artist or when it's the human that's talking although yeah sometimes usually you can tell you can often tell, but often I, I didn't think, whatever. It's just really hard to explain, folks, and to fully grasp. But occasionally, it seems, maybe, the human is right, or the human and the artist might come to an agreement. So this might be a, an e example of a case of the human and the artist coming to an agreement. Uh, that sometimes it does happen that way. Uh, we'll soon find out. We'll see how this piece actually looks and see if it if it really proves that point. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know if I like it, but I don't know if I don't like it. I think we can now 
call it quits.